Hi guys, this is Chai Swede and in this video I'm going to show you some of the areas in Idle Devils where you do actual gameplay. Sometimes I feel like this game has gone a little bit overboard with the number of areas you can unlock in the game. I think there's about 21 areas just here on the main screen that you can unlock and a lot of the main areas also have sub areas that you can unlock during progression as well. For example the event hall, you have three different sub areas you can unlock here. And then you also have the world down here in the left corner, so there is a lot of areas to unlock, but not all of them are used for actual gameplay. So we're gonna get into some of them so I can show you how you play the game. The main gameplay area in the game is the campaign right here. This is where you have to progress in the game to unlock new areas. For example, when you reach stage 208 you will unlock this part, and when you reach stage 388 you will unlock this. So the, ca the campaign is where you need to go to get new places to go and also to level up your heroes and get more resources. So let's get into the campaign to see how it looks like in there. In the campaign you have a team of five different heroes that you se send into battle and they will just keep fighting on their own until you exit out of the campaign. And you can also change the team whenever you want uh, down here in the left corner. Actually not right now because I went into a boss battle so you can change your team when you're in a boss battle so see, let's see if I'm strong enough to win this battle and progress to the next stage it doesn't look too promising right now once you start getting to higher levels they uh, you really need to get your team stronger and stronger all the time because the, the stages get harder very fast. So in the beginning you progress really fast, but the further you progress, the, the harder it gets really fast. So each stage is actually quite much harder than the, than, than the last one. So I am not going to win this fight. And if you just want to keep farming for a while, you can turn off this auto battle down here and then it will not go into any new boss battles automatically then you will actually have to go into a boss battle manually but this is the main stage main area in the game where you do progress so another area in the game that you unlock really early in the game is tower of infinity the tower of infinity is pretty much like the campaign except that it's a tower and you go into different levels of the f floors of the tower instead of stages and the further you get the better rewards you get and when you pass certain floors you will get a bigger reward like when I pass floor 125 I will get these different uh, rewards right here and you also have 10 uh, 10 fights you can do uh, every day and they will slowly recharge so you can't do the Tower of Infinity as much as you want to you have to wait for the, the energy to re recharge otherwise the Tower of Infinity is pretty much the same gameplay wise as the uh, the campaign you send five heroes into battle and they will keep going until you exit out even if you win or lose if you lose they will just start over and you have to win to progress into a new floor so let's go to the next area which will be the event hall over here. Right now I have three sub areas unlocked in the event hall. From the beginning I think you only have two if I remember it right. So the first one is random events. This is, as it said, ra random events you, that you can do. Some of them is actually fighting. Some of them is just you collect resources like this one. So if we collect these resources and everything in here costs energy that you has, have up here and you can refill your energy by doing other parts of the game and here you can also fight uh, bosses so let's try a boss fight this is not that challenging it says there's in different levels of the boss fights and the thing here is that once you fought a boss once and you lose the boss will actually not recover its health so you can use more energy to uh, to beat it so let's see if we can beat this boss. Right here is the percentage bar of health that I mentioned that this will not refill in between attacks. So let's attack. And this is 
right now my strongest team so let's go and as you can see again it looks exactly like the the campaign except this time it's, it's only going to be one team of enemies that you fight and once you defeat them all the uh, the boss fight will be over so let's see if i can beat them oh and also i should mention that in every fight in the game that i've seen so far you have one minute to finish the uh, the fight if you don't finish it within a minute the fight will be over and it will be counted as a loss for you so hopefully i can finish this in time i feel like i should be able to And one thing that is a little bit annoying with the gameplay is that you can't actually move the camera around. It just follows your, uh, your champions. You can change your camera angle like that. But that is also everything you can do with the camera. So I won and as you see the, uh, the event is gone now and I still have two more events that I can do. This one is a recipe for hero. You can combine a hero. And each day you get resets for new events down here. So if I press this one, like this, there's going to be new events popping up, uh, popping up. And then the next area in the event hall is the snow land. So let's get in there. And this is what the snow lands look like. It's pretty much like a map that you can walk around on and collect artifacts and fight enemies. And up here in the left corner you can see how much progress you have done on this map and the snowlands always have three different levels and they get harder and harder and every time you collect something your progress increases so if we walk around and collect all these resources your progress will increase and you will know when you've finished everything on the map and there's all also enemies around that you can fight and you can see what kind of enemies there will be in in the enemy team and once you go into the fight it's going to be exactly the same as the campaign but with the big difference that in between fights your hero team will not recover health so you see under here there's a hundred percent on each once a hero dies it is dead un unless you can find one of these things where you can revive heroes and there's also places where you can restore health and also after each fight you will get a magic card that has a certain property for example that your heroes recover 10% of health after each fight or a certain faction uh, of heroes will increase attack by 60% or something like that there's a lot of magic cards so when you progress into higher levels you will also get stronger all the time but yeah this is pretty simple you just walk around fight enemies collect resources and the next area in the event hall is explorers which looks like this see I got the magic card right away it's pretty much the same as the snowlands you uh, walk around, you collect things, but with a big difference that you can't really see what's in front of you until you walk around this corner, for example. So you don't really know what's in there, but again, you can see your progress, But and this has five levels instead of three as the Snowland did. So exactly the same as Snowlands. gameplay that I think is worth mentioning right now is the arena and as usual in games like this the arena is where you go to do PvP where to where you fight against other players and as usual you have a top list here where the top players are and this is kind of crazy I don't think I've ever seen a player with 2 billion in power before uh, that's that's really high as you can see the the closest one in the in the top is 266 million so 2 billion is really high but all you do here is you go to battle you choose out of three opponents who you want to fight and you can re-roll this as many times as you want until you find someone you feel like you want to fight but you will always get people that are 
kind of the same score as you so you you won't get anyone crazy or someone that is really weak so let's do attack and here you choose what team you want to attack with and then battle and as you can see it looks like the same gameplay as the campaign and it's the tower of infinity and so on with the exception that you cannot change the lineup and it, again it's only one fight if you win you get more score in the arena if you lose you lose in score in the arena and you will go up and down in the rankings so let's see if i win this it doesn't look like i will uh, i haven't really engaged in the uh, in the arena that much yet uh, so i i'm not I feel like I'm not strong enough yet, I need to get better heroes. But that was it uh, over the gameplay and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe.